dream destination for any gastronome, my wife and I have wanted to visit Spain for some time now. We've already experienced a couple of days filled with culinary delights like tortilla española, a type of Spanish potato omelet, fabada, an Asturian white bean stew featuring chorizo, paella, of course, the Valencian variety with chicken and rabbit, and the more popular coastal varieties with seafood, crema catalana, Spain's take on France's classic creme brulee, and of course one of the biggest reasons I've come all this way, llamón ibérico, or Iberian ham, a cured leg of pork similar to Italian prosciutto. Black Iberian breed pigs are fattened on barley and maize for several weeks after weaning, they're then allowed to roam in pasture and oak groves to feed naturally on grass, herbs, acorns, and chestnuts, and just before slaughter, a diet strictly limited to olives, chestnuts, or acorns. It's one of planet Earth's triumphs of gastronomy that I've looked most forward to finally trying for myself, and it did not disappoint. Again, the angel I call a wife arranged for this trip to occur on a sprawling semi-private resort located just under four hours south of Madrid. What's special about this place is that they're hunter-friendly and have a contract with, you guessed it, Rare Gem Outfitters. So, I have the opportunity to hunt wild boar for a couple of days while we're here, while still experiencing the natural beauty of the country, the company of my wife, and the Epicurean food adventure of a lifetime. Though not the black Iberian pigs the Yamon Iberico is made from, wild boar are native to much of Eurasia and North Africa, and it's one of the widest ranging mammals in the world. Though its eyesight is relatively weak, its hearing is incredibly acute, and its sense of smell is so well developed that in Germany they're used for drug detection. I'm using 12 gauge slugs in a cacciatore pump action shotgun for this hunt, and as these animals are invasive to the agricultural interests in the area, I've not been given a limit on how many I can take, so long as I donate them to the kitchens of the resort. In exchange for each boar I take, we get to dine for a day at any of the resort's three restaurants for free. So, I'll be trying to get one boar for every day we're booked here. It's not long while I walk the countryside that I see a small group of these sewids on a trajectory that crosses my path, and with no time to find cover, I'm left to hope that they might not notice me. Why did the boar cross the road? While I'm sure the agricultural fields on the other side of the nearby road have much to do with it, I'm surprised to see these pigs still intent on coming this way, even after discharging four shotgun rounds. I quietly, yet swiftly, advanced to some cover to wait in ambush.
After waiting a short while more, it seems the others have given up the idea of feeding here today, and I move to assess my harvests. Having marked all three kills on the GPS provided by Rare Gem, I turn it into the office so their staff can effect the harvests, and make it back to my wife in time for what's sure to be another exquisite dinner. The next day, as though pulled from a storybook, I coax another boar while sitting at the edge of a fragrant lavender field. A fair while later, as I start back toward our lodge, curiosity seems to get the best of another boar, and though I get the impression he's fully aware of my presence, he seems to be debating whether to keep walking my way or try another route. A well-placed slug ensures he won't suffer at all, and he's downed immediately. Our time on the Iberian Peninsula in Spain has been a dream vacation, and something of a second honeymoon. I've gotten to enjoy so many of my favorite things in the world, all in one place, and all in one week. This truly is a trip we'll never forget, and will be really hard to beat. <laughs>